take a look now at our next special object, and that is the table of figures. A table of figures is similar to a table of contents, except it displays all of the graphics inside of your document, specifically graphics that have captions. If the graphic doesn't have a caption, it would not be included in the table of figures section, so it must have a caption. It's only available for print output, and similar to a table of contents, it will list all of the graphics with captions and then give you the page number that the uh, caption displays on. And that's really the only thing that it does. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here. Alright, so by default I do not have a table of figures object inside of my book, so I want to go ahead and add one. So let's find it here, common content, front and back matter, table of figures, here we go. So if we open up our table of figures, only has a print tab, in the Table of Figures Title field, you can choose what title to give to that section. You must associate it with a media object so that author knows what page layout to give to that section. Down here under Options, you tell author it which label should I be looking for. All right. Now if I take the template off here, you can see more options. So, if you wanted your table of figures to display all of the captions that had the figure label of figure, you'd select figure here. Let's say you wanted a table of figure section that displayed all of your graphics with a figure label of equation, then you would select that one here. All right, we'll leave that as figures. And you can choose uh, whether or not to display page numbers, how to display them, whether to include the label, and the figure number if you want to. So you can play with these settings depending on what you want your table of figures to look like. All right, so we need to add this to our book. All right, let's give ourselves some room on the screen here. I'm going to turn off the detail view and decide where I want that table of figures to be. I think it should publish directly after the table of contents. So I'll go ahead and click and drag it into my book, and now let's go ahead and save. Now the table of figures is going to list all of the graphics inside of my book that have a caption, where the caption has a label of figure. Alright, so let me go ahead and go through my book here, make sure that I've got graphics that have a caption. Alright, this one does not, so let's go ahead and add one in here so that we've got some examples in our table of X1000 backpack. Go ahead and click apply. Now see how this label is set to figure? That's what our table of figures will be looking for. And it's also looking for an entry here. All right, let's go down, see if we have some other topics that we can include a caption on. Here's my accessories caption. This does have a caption, and it's label set to figure. Okay, so we do have a couple of examples of some objects with captions in our document. So now let's go ahead and publish to a print output. All right, I'm going to go ahead and publish to Word. Now while this is publishing, I just want to point out another type of print output is PDF. Now what's going on with the PDF is that a Word document will be created first and then what will happen is, is whatever PDF driver is installed on your machine will be used to create that PDF file. So a very common uh, PDF driver is the uh, Adobe Acrobat PDF driver. A lot of people will have that installed on their machine. So when they publish to PDF, the Word document would get created and then that Adobe PDF 
uh, driver would be used to create that document file. So there's still going to be a pit stop between uh, Word and PDF. A Word document will still be created in that case. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our Word document. And after, our table of contents should be our table of figures. Okay, and we have our X1000 backpack here. Now, why didn't our accessories publish? Hmm. That is kind of a mystery on why our accessories topic didn't publish, but you can see that what it's done is pulled information from our caption field, displayed that on our table of figures section. Let's view that again to build that table of figures. I'll have to investigate on our break why it didn't include my uh, accessories topic here. But as you can see, it's going to automatically insert a figure label. Here's the caption, and then here's the page number. Now, speaking of figure labels, let's go ahead and browse over to that figure label. This figure label is inserted automatically by AuthorIt, and this sequence is also updated by AuthorIt as well. This, this a sequence number is inserted automatically for you. So no matter how many graphics that you have inside of your document, it's going to be assigned a unique sequence. You don't have to maintain that. It's always managed by AuthorIt during the publishing process.